Hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, this is Jiva from DTCC Chennai along with me Atushi from Fujitsu, Tokyo. So in the next 10 minutes, we would like to deliver a session that introduce Hyperledger Explorer. We believe that this session would be a more informative as we have been working on this project for the last three years. We will walk through in this session the history of Hyperledger Explorer, the status of the current state, features of and future enhancement of the application. Hyperledger Explorer. Hyperledger Explorer is a tool for visualizing a blockchain operation of the Hyperledger Fabric platform. We are delighted to announce that it's the first ever blockchain explorer for permission ledger. So the ability to visualize the data is significantly important to extract the business value from Hyperledger Explorer. Let's now talk about the current status of Hyperledger Explorer. Hyperledger Explorer created user-friendly web application with a rich user interface that Techstock is used to build this web, React.js, Google Material UI, Node.js, WebSocket, PostgreSQL, and Azure Pipeline using with the Agile methodology. So the current version of Hyperledger Explorer, version 1.1.5, was released the last April. The current version of Hyperledger Explorer supports the Hyperledger fabric. Furthermore, uh, we don't need to shift that other branch like, you know, to, from one branch to, to change the fabric. Furthermore, the same code base support all the version of Hyperledger fabric. Also, we have supported the Hyperledger Eureka. Uh, Explorer is available as a Docker images for quick and easy implementation. We are excited to see that over 3.7 million users have pulled the Docker image till date. The application is flexible to be hosted depending on your needs and scale. You can follow the step-by-step -step instruction provided to install the standalone version or use the Docker image that already included all record component within it or you can use the clustered approach for a highly scalable pattern by deploying each component, either in separate physical machine or virtual machine, or you may use like a pod if you are targeting the Kubernetes cluster. So here, the main contributor of this project from DTCC and Fujitsu, we have received a few proposals from new contributors for integrating the Hyperledger Explorer module into their newly developed tool like the Minifab, Hyperledger Explorer Made Easy, Easy Dozer, and Ledger Data Definer. We have Atusi who is here to talk more about the features and future enhancements of the application. So thank you for your expensive time. Over to Atushi. Thank you, Jima. Uh, in this slide, uh, let's have a look. That's the feature of uh, Hyperledger Explorer. Uh, the most important feature of the Hyperledger Explorer is that allows you to get access metrics and data on the fabric network uh, through this GUI. As you can see this screenshot, uh, you can get access uh, to the important metrics on your fabric network in a single pane of graph, like uh, how many nodes exist on your network and how often transactions get generated in the past, something like that. So if you manage uh, more than one channel in your uh, network, so you can easily switch view between the multiple channel from this drop-down list. And also there are real time notification on this dashboard. So when a new block is added to your network, you can get the notification. And you can also navigate to other viewers from these uh, tabs. So you can easily switch view uh, uh, in the block and transaction view, uh, you can look at the sequence of blocks and drill into it and see 
the individual transaction in each blocks. And in chain code view, uh, you can see the chain code that was invoked for a particular transaction as well. And we also provide the search functionality in block and transaction view. So you can filter blocks and transaction within a particular time period. And also Explorer has a user management feature. So this module allows you to add, delete users who can access this dashboard. But here is one note is this user management feature is different from the ACL on the hyperledger fabric. And as a final part of our today's session, I will share our next development plans. Uh, basically, uh, while we keep up with the latest fabric release and uh, resolve a detected issue, uh, we also trying to introduce new feature at the same time. Uh, currently, we are planning implementation of the, these two major interesting features by working together with the new contributors. The first one uh, is adding more information and metrics of Hyperledger Fabric Network on Hyperledger Explorer. In the current plan, we are going to show the, show the in endorsement policy of each chain code to make user easily understand your network. And also, we'd like to add metrics and of each node uh, on Fabric Network to the dashboard. I'm going to use uh, Prometheus implementation, which each peer originally has. The second big one of our planning new feature is uh, uh, adding a new data analysis platform for blockchain data. So we believe uh, this kind of feature will raise Explorer to the next level or as a ledger data query platform. Uh, in the current Explorer, it provides a quite fundamental feature to access low data rather than human readable data for each block and transaction. So this new feature will give you a more rich data analytics uh, functionalities. And one of them is the tracking feature for historical operation uh, of each specific asset or state. And the other one is uh, automatic schema analytics analyzing feature of uh, payload in the transaction. Uh, we expect this upcoming uh, feature will provide, provide you deeper data insight and more flexible query. And we believe it will be a fantastic contribution to the HyperHF community. And we are looking forward to pushing these plans to the release in months after. OK, that's all for our session today. Uh, and in the end, I'd like to appreciate so much to the, com the great contributors and this function, fantastic proposal. And uh, thank you so much. And of course, I'd like to say thank you all for joining this session today. And if you are interested, with this plan and project, uh, we are always welcoming your contribution. And uh, you can find more detail from this link. Uh, our official document is hosted on the Lisa Doc service. And you can find our code base on the GitHub. And you 
can use our Docker image to boot up Explorer on your local environment easily. Thank you so much. And uh, fortunately, we still have a couple minutes today's session. So we will have a QA session. Is there any question? Uh, as long as looking at the chat area, at the moment, we don't have any question. So yeah. Jiba, do you have anything? No, we don't have What anything. you want to say? Yeah. Yeah, it, we can wait for a few seconds, actually, if anyone have any question or anything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, as Jiba mentioned, uh, our fabric uh, explorer is composed from some backend and frontend, which using React.js and Express. So we are always looking for the new contributor for this project. So please feel free to jump in our project if you in, have an interest in with front end or back end, of course, or hyperledger fabric. And uh, yeah, if you have any question after this session, you can easily reach out our team from the rocket chat. So, yeah. 